Hello everyone. Thanks for joining my channel, RP Guru Tech Talk. This is Rainu Prasad. In my previous video for Salesforce CRM uh, series, I created a new account in Trailhead. Um, and this is my new account. I've not, if you see, it shows uh, zero badges, zero points. What it means is if you go to, if you go to your profile, it basically means that I've not, um, um, there's no activity in my case uh, to earn points. So as and when I start doing uh, the trails and either answer um, quizzes or uh, do activities or challenges, I start earning points, badges. So depending on how many trails I've been going into, it will tell me how many trails I'm in, how many points I've earned, and what are the badges uh, I have uh, earned from till date. Uh, so it keeps, I started as a, as a scout and the highest uh, level is a uh, ranger. And in the ranger mode, uh, you could be going on for a long time and it's a long learning process and uh, there's no end to it. Uh, one of the things I showed you, uh, let me go to Trailhead. One of the things I showed you uh, is the various paths I could take for my uh, certifications. You don't have to really uh, write these certification exams if you don't want to, but it's a good way to uh, show that you have the skills, uh, you picked up the skills and you're also tested for it and, are, you're, uh, and employers could um, appreciate it and they know that you are capable of doing the job. But actually, here's, here's the funny thing. When I, when I first started uh, learning Salesforce myself, uh, the first thing that came to my mind is someone told me, why don't you start with Salesforce administrator uh, skills? I said, I've been an architect for a long time. Um, why do I need to be a Salesforce administrator? That's not something I want to do uh, as part of my new skills I'm going to build, but that's not true. If you look at it, Salesforce administrator is just a, uh, a term used to get you the, the basics in place. Um, uh, and you're actually getting a, uh, you're getting a thorough knowledge of the environment, uh, Salesforce environment. And this particular certification trail um, will take you through all the steps required to go about working in the Salesforce uh, ecosystem. Salesforce calls it an ecosystem or we call it some other softwares call it environment. And the other thing Salesforce, uh, whenever we have multiple environments, we call them, let's say production test environment, or it could be a QA environment. Salesforce uh, terms it as orgs. So they say production org, uh, like a QA org, a UAT org. So every uh, Salesforce um, environment is given an org uh, concept. So, uh, so one, when I created my uh, account, uh, Salesforce automatically creates a, uh, a, uh, a playground. A playground is nothing but, um, it's, it's, a, it's a place, it's actually a, a, almost a real environment where you could uh, work on your challenges, work on uh, trying to get your feet wet with the Salesforce, uh, Salesforce environment, um, like set up things, um, add um, objects, add fields, work with fields, and then use those fields or objects to create your own uh, simple apps to test your knowledge, right? So that is something. So when I created my account, uh, Salesforce automatically uh, created a new playground for me. Uh, they called it my trailer playground one. So uh, I will show in this video, I mean, we don't want to go to that yet. So let me start with saying, I want to show you in this video uh, how to create a playground. So you, uh, to do that, uh, next to the, if you go down to the bottom of this particular first session uh, of uh, the administrator uh, trail, um, if you, there is, there's a launch button, next to the launch button is your current playground. You can click on the three dots here 
and say create playground. And you could call it uh, my first playground trailhead. Or you could say my first uh, test. My first org. As I said, org is nothing but an environment. So my first org and say create. Right now, if you see, there's nothing much you have to do on your own. Uh, it's uh, the trailhead and the sales force is actually creating a uh, environment for you where you can start playing around. So um, let's wait for the art to be created. And then I'll show you uh, what are the next steps. My org is created now, so I just do, it shows the name I gave it. So I just do a launch. What it does is it's opening Salesforce for me. It has some unique names automatically associated with that org. Um, before I show you more on this, if you go back to your uh, org here, if you click on this, you can see there are two orgs, one which was created by um, a trailhead when I first created my trailhead account, which I didn't want to use. I wanted to show you a real, I mean, one which we created on our own. So the next one is my uh, org I just created. And depending on uh, which you org you want to work with, you can keep switching uh, in the challenge. You can switch to the org which you want to work in. Um, so right now I launched my first org new org I just created. And if you see, it's actually a real Salesforce environment. So you have a playground starter. Um, this is where uh, in, 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 in uh, Salesforce, uh, we, call, we call any prepackaged uh, software where, uh, application which has been built by either Salesforce or a partner or a third party uh, which is approved by Salesforce. They call it a package. The package could come in. Um, it could it could contain a solution which you could use rather than rebuilding your own uh, own uh, solution for the same uh, requirement. So you could use the existing uh, packages. And one of the steps in uh, uh, the, uh, the administrator trail is to install a package. So you could install a package here. Uh, there are so many steps you can do. So you can get like if you uh, let's say uh, you want to uh, uh, you want to get the let's say this one when, I, when they first created my account, uh, they created a playground uh, trail trail at breakdown one. You could actually get the uh, login credentials or change the password. So you could do a lot of things like that. And uh, uh, then this is where all the apps. Uh, are placed. If you see, if you see we all, you see all the various apps which are pre-existing when the playground was created, um, like uh, sales, service, which are, which are uh, standard apps, which is inbuilt into any Salesforce org uh, or environment. Um, so if, if you're pre-building your own, uh, at, at the end of the day, you would have your own um, app here so which will reflect um, uh, what you build and you can actually go to that app to uh, work on it so this is the place where you will see all your apps uh, if, if you see the uh, this is a settings setup button you hit, hit that and uh, click setup it opens uh, another window and this is where your uh, underlying objects and all the configurations uh, are defined. So you can see if you click the object manager,
you can see all the underlying standard objects which were which pre-existed when I created this playground. It's automatically created in the environment. And you can, uh, these are, if you see it, the type is a standard object. Uh, anything you want to create on your own for your own applications will be tagged as a custom object. Uh, we look at more of this uh, in the next future videos. For, but for now, what I would suggest is uh, learn how to create a playground or use an existing playground once you create an account and start, start working with this trailhead. Prepare for your Salesforce administrator credential. This does not mean that you're really preparing, you don't want to, if you don't want to, but you, this is the right way to start learning Salesforce. And also to keep track of how much your progress is. If you see, this is actually uh, something uh, that requires about 75 hours of work based on uh, previous experience. So there's a lot of stuff to learn. And once you're done with this whole trail, you'll be pretty much good at uh, um, the base ecosystem of Salesforce. And to keep track of your progress, you need to click follow. When you click follow, I'll show you an example, right? So I click follow. Uh, if you see nothing, I've not done anything. Uh, this is the exam overview we just saw in the previous video. You saw that what are the details of the exam required and stuff like that. So if I say mark is complete, so it showed that uh, I've completed 2% of the, um, the trail. So this is how you start learning. And I'll share more videos to uh, move forward on each of these uh, learnings and uh, look forward to you being a Salesforce expert as soon as possible. Talk to you soon.